Slim, why are you posting that? I'm ruining the surprise. Shut up, you f***ing snitch. Thank you for the 12 months of membership. Here's to another year of being a member, Guru. Also, when you were in SA mingling, were you using your real name? Uh, just, I was just doing whatever I wanted in SA, dude. Don't talk about real. Fuck off. No more live stream. What press conference are you talking about? Apparently, there's a uh, Drickus Duplessis. And... But thank you for the 12 months membership, dude. Here's to another year, brother. Appreciate you. Um, I don't know. Apparently, there's a Drickus Duplessis Israel Desanya press conference happening later today. I'm not even joking, sir. So. I'm kind of looking forward to that, seeing what's going to happen. They've got a, uh, I think they've got Cara France and Urseg up there as well, which would be a good one. Oh, now we're donating the hundreds. Hold on. Thank you for the $20. $5. How many more wins over Johnny Walker does Ankalaev need to earn a fight with a contender? And shouldn't Alex be pound for pound number one? He actually dominated two divisions. I'm not really here to have an intricate argument over anything. Um, I don't really give a if he's not pound for pound number one, uh, he hasn't dominated two divisions. He got slept by Israel Adesanya. Um, he didn't dominate middleweight. He beat Strickland, who just walked straight into him like a re and then he beat Adesanya. But other than that, he doesn't really he didn't really dominate the division. So you can't say he dominated middleweight um, because it was even a come from behind win when he first beat Adesanya. So as much as I'm a huge Pereira fan, you absolute basically gay people that are his fans are going to ruin him for me, and I'm already sensing it. Um, uh, I think Ankalaev needs to get another win, though. He does. I don't think Pereira dominated middleweight, though. I don't think you can say that with a straight face. No offense. Thank you for the $5. But I do think Pereira should be above Jones. Number two is fine. Hello, Mr. Guru. I'm starting to think Alex might be a straight genius. <laughs> Listen. I reckon he could maybe, like, take down a few. The press conference says it's in five hours, Guru. Thank you for the 15 months of membership. I'll be here in five hours then. Oh, no, I'll have to be here and... Oh, f*** it then. F*** it then. It is in five hours, isn't it? It's at 3 a.m., that is. So what was the point in waking up early today? Is what it is, man. I'll stay. I'll, uh, I'll stream it. And then we'll go to bed after that. I think. I think that's what I'll do. I'll have to, right? I can't miss a Drickers Adesanya press conference. So I'll have to do that then. Can't wait for Leon to beat Bilal and move above Jones on pound for pound and Dana offs himself <laughs> live at the press conference afterwards. Yes, he literally kills himself at the press conference. True, dude. <laughs> I could see that. What do you think about Chandler saying he was offered a title shot and the banter that ensued? I loved RDA's comeback against Chandler. Did you guys see RDA? what he was saying <laughs> oh yeah johnny walker messaged me we were chatting uh sunday late on sunday so shout out to johnny walker dude he didn't uh rep he must have seen it on twitter and just uh messaged me we talked about it now he's moving up to heavyweight so good for johnny walker dude shout out to him you know he took my advice funnily enough he's just not sure if he's gonna move to aspinall super gym yet so shout out to him wow how much is the opportunity to become world champion worth? For some of us, there is no price on a UFC belt. Mine is certainly not for sale. Chandler should stop this see you at the top motivational speeches. It's embarrassing. And then Chandler responded, cool story. See you at the top. And RDA responded, <laughs> I've been up here, buddy. Haven't seen you yet. <laughs> wow, dude. RDA cooked him, dude. Cooked him so bad. Oh, wow. Cool story. See you at the top. I've been up here, buddy. Haven't seen you yet. Yep, true, dude. No one's seen Chandler at the top yet, dude, all these years. Never been at the top. Uh, he hasn't been offered a title shot. Like, he just needs to shut his dumb, fat, humiliation face mouth up. I don't want to see him representing any of us on the world stage. So I hope he goes himself. Hope of every fight sleeps him and he never gets an opportunity at the top again. Hope everything's fine, man. You seem depressed. I'm fine. Thank you for the $10, Isaiah. Thank you for checking up, though. I'm fine. Pereira beats Jones. Jones hasn't fought someone with KO power since the Obama administration, and Jones stood with Garn for a whole minute. Pereira is bigger than Jones, and Reyes landed his left hand a lot. I mean, does Pereira have the takedown defense of 
Dominic Reyes, though? That's the question. At light heavyweight, I don't think there actually is a question, right, chat? At light heavyweight, if Jones had to go back down and make, make light heavyweight and fight Dominic Reyes, <laughs> I mean, and fight Alex Pereira, he's getting slept. I think he's getting slept. At heavyweight, though, I don't know. You know, that's where there's a question. But a light heavyweight dude, he destroys John Jones. I reckon he destroys him. Thank you for the $100, Guiliano Argente. Personally, I think Ankalaev and no one else could beat Pereira. Regardless of people uh, saying Alex is ducking him are ridiculous, I know they are, yeah. He just did an interview about fighting Ankalaev, saying it's the fight that he's probably the most interested in because it would be a huge challenge, yeah. I think that's a good fight as well. Um, I just The problem is if Ankalaev doesn't finish him on the ground, I think it just gives uh, Pereira too many opportunities to get low kicks off on the feet. Because the thing is about Ankalaev is he's very tall, but he's not got a big frame. He's a tall dude, but he's got a frame like Chemeyev. These Dagestani guys, they don't get wide shoulders and they don't get long arms, which is a problem with them, which is why they grapple a lot. I think it's something to do with inbreeding, but I don't know what it is. Um, I'm not even trying to be insulting. I think that there's just a recessive gene that they have. Um, whoever the first Dagestani was that's now created all of the rest of them um, through his own singular lineage. I think he just had short arms and narrow shoulders. So now a lot of them have that same issue. So that's the problem I have with Ankalaev. Although he's good, I, you know, you, you, you had to wait till the second round to catch Walker. Do you catch Pereira before then? You know what I mean? I don't know if that, that's going to happen. So I'll go Pereira over anyone now until I'm proven otherwise, in, in all honesty. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for the $5. I might do a video on his post-fight interview. I might do that video maybe tomorrow or later today. Maybe I want to do a video saying his delusion the best base for MMA because he said some sh his post fight interview about the uh, MVP fight. Chat, did you chat? Did you know that Ian Gary said that he landed a punch on MVP in round two and he could see MVP's eyes roll in the back of his head after he landed it? Did you guys know that Gary said that? They, that they were both doing all right on the feet and he just, just sort of took over. You know, he said that. He said he saw MVP's eyes roll in the back of his head after landing a right hand in round two. That's what he said. <laughs> he made it up. He just made it up. He didn't, not, that never happened. He also said he was as fast as MVP. I know he is delusional. He made it up with that. I know there was a punch that he landed, to be fair. He did land a punch. But he did not roll him in the back. He didn't roll his eyes in the back of his head. Just a liar, dude. Such a delusional liar.